Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Nilnar and we're once again in Until Dawn. By popular request, we're going to go ahead and continue this adventure game on. When we last left off, it was kind of the introduction and we kind of learned a little bit about a bunch of teenagers that basically were mean to each other and two of them fell to their death. I think we're about a year later and we're uh, going through it and seeing, I think, how they uh, turned out when they got older. So we're starting out with this character. We I don't know what her name is yet because we didn't really get into it too much. But we got to go down this pathway. So let's, let's follow the footsteps and see what we can get into. And like always, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe. Here we go. A letter on the door. Oh, what? Gates bust, climb oh, over. Damn it. That always tells me it sounds like uh, they don't have really permission to be there, and he he snuck in. I'll do the quick way. Uh. Oh, it's gonna be a timed event doing it the quick way. I do a little bit of a challenge here. Okay. See what's down this path. Oh, there's a nice little squirrel. Oh. Hey, little fella. You hungry? No, I wouldn't recommend normally feeding them out of your hands. They'll bite your fingers if you're not careful. That's not a good thing to do. Beautiful uh, scenery in this woods here. That tree is not too safe. Got on the sign here. <laughs> cool. Indigenous people and butterfly prophecy. Tribes who once lived in these mountains believe that butterflies carried dreams and prophecies of the possible future. The color of the butterfly indicated the nature of the prophecy. Black is death. Danger. Red butterflies warn of dangerous event. Brown is for loss. Guidance is yellow. And fortune is white. Nice. Okay. Well, that's a beautiful mountain scene, if I ever seen one. We'll go to the building in a Hello? second. Check out these trucks. So these trucks came in a different way than we did. Boy, that's been sitting here for a while. Look at all that ice build up. Something here. Oh. Oh. Somebody's wanting a, an interesting weekend. Okay, let's go go down to the... Uh, is that a lift? Yeah, there's a, a cable line, so this is the lift. Wow, Past is beyond our, con here? our control. Interesting. Hello, we're here to go skiing. Chris, Let me in. Are you here? Oh, locked. We have here. Bags here. Where are you? You're not in the bag, are you? Hello. What do we have here? Somebody's phone. Ah, eh, we'll close it up. Maybe I 
Yeah, we won't snoop. Stuff. Oh, we got uh, Chris, Sam, a hey, white butterfly effect. It. Nice. There's Chris. Chris has a, a crush on Ashley. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on. It's this way. W where? Right around here. Gonna blow your mind. Ta-da! Pretty rad, right? Yeah! Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? What the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, no, you go ahead, Grizzly. All right. One, they wouldn't just leave a, a rifle out back there at the shooting range. That would normally be locked up somewhere. Nice shot. Nice. Wow, nice shooting tits. All right, I'm bad. I'm a badass. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. No, nah, I don't think so, girl. Anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Oh, not the squirrel. No, no, no. We can't do the squirrel. You only hunt living animals if you need to eat. Hunt them for sport. That's my rule. <laughs> nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> hey, sharpshooter, a ride's coming. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. Okay, we got a nice white one for that. Hey, let's go to the cable car. Let's get our uh, ski on. Oh. Man, look at this. Nice. You think we'll get a visit from America's Most Wanted? Looks like someone thought so. Oh, come on. This place is abandoned most of the year. Nobody comes up here. Hey, that's weird. Door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. That's creepy. That it is. Oh, real gentleman. How many keys do they have to the store if there's others coming? Let's look around a little bit. We gotta wait. I'm, I'm trying to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range. Huh? Interesting. What a crazy place to set up house. I mean, no matter how rich you are. I'm not so rich. Family bought a mountain. Yeah, I count that as being a little, a little richy if you can buy a whole mountain. It's a big mountain. Finally, you coming? Yeah. It's so beautiful in the day, but at night just feels menacing, like a sleeping giant. You gonna publish? What? Your pretty poem. The sleeping giant of Blackwood Forest. Oh, shut up. 
Mm, just like going to the prom. Here we go. Right. Adventure begins. Yes, it does. What? You know, getting everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I don't know, kind of worried. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> You know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Ah, uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so. So I got moved to the back. And? and next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. Match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off a train bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Yeah, she's a little angbunctious. Yes, Mike's girlfriend. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. She's a little too chipper. That should be sitting out here in the cold. What the hell? Jess, hey! Jessica, over here! Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, got a lot of meat on my bones. It's all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Hey! Well, 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 what do we have Chris. here? My goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Give that back. That's Give that mean. back, you tool. Tool and die. That's my motto. Oh, you're such an idiot. Maybe nosy Nancy shouldn't go nosing around in other people's nostrils. Uh, yeah, I, I try not to do that as a rule. Come on, Jess, you can tell us. You can totally keep secrets. Whatever. You'll figure it out eventually. All right, all right, let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? I mean, you know, whoever. Uh huh. Sam. Beautiful Jeez, view. view. I mean, holy cow! Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge like right where the evil car ends? Emily, Matt's girlfriend. I don't think it would have been like as pretty, you know. And there's Matt. And where's the bellboy when you need one? A little pretentious or not? <sighs> getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean getting kind of creeped out. Oh, yeah. Gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Definitely not gonna feel like a regular party. I mean, what do you think? Ah! Jesus! <laughs> there's Mike. 
you guys. Michael. You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods, it's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being, you always get like this. Michael. I'm just gonna lay it out, otherwise this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Matt. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't want to make this weird. Cool. So we're good? All good. You guys gonna make out now? Oh my god, totally. We're so gonna make out. Uh, no. Seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car back on the trail. All right. See you, man. See ya. All right. See ya. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, all the bags. Uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. Yeah, yeah. All right. Fine. If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. But you owe me one. Excuse me? Well, then we're even, at least. I'll think about it. Just be careful. See you up there, sweetie. Thank you. Mm-hmm. He's gonna go get into trouble back there. I already know that. Just read it in her way she said that. Rush on Chris, huh? Okay. It's Ashley. Uh oh. Yep. I Hello. said she was up to no good. Somebody's getting a little friendly. Not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. <laughs> hey, whoa. <laughs> Sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Just you. Louise, well, Matt. I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real oh scare you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hey, wow. Man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash. Damn. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it. Let me check it out. No. Kind of busted. It's not. It's not like really interesting. It's just. What? <laughs> For real? I, I bet I could find like a cool bear chowing down on a fox or something. Yeah, he doesn't no, need to really see that. Not, it's not worth straining your eyes. I'm getting kind of a headache just from looking through it. So just no, no. All right. Uh, sure. If you say so. Have we met everybody from the original? On the phone there. Oh, you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. But who am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? I'm right, gonna get back. Yep. Uh, well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> hey! Oh! <laughs> Adam. Hey, you know that? <laughs> Where are you hiding, little chickadee? Got him again. That was close. Hey! Damn. 
Oh, got her. I didn't miss that one. A little slow on the, uh... Hello? Come on. <laughs> hey, Mike! Boom shakalaka! Okay. No, you got me. Fair enough. Okay. <laughs> You can't hide from me, Michael. I know all your tricks. I'm not going to hit the bird. Whoa! Oh, that's right! I find you just... And then what? Oh! No more! Oh, oh yeah. Oh, more. Oh, you're going down. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Gotcha! It's done! Done city! So, did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. All right, all right. My, my. So are we calling it my favor, then? You're a worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Save some for later, buddy. Endless reserves. <laughs> we should get up to the lodge. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. Who's coming up on the tram? Hello again. And how are we feeling? Hmm? It seems we hardly scratched the surface in our last session, so let's go a little bit deeper this time. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Okay. Neither one really worry me, but... I don't like planes. Cool. I don't like the idea of drowning. I don't like heights either, but hey. Makes her more than a rat. I'll go with guns. So neither one of these are really scary or anxious. Snakes. Oh, that evil clown. Gore or crows? Uh, we'll go into the gore disgust me. Oh. Did I startle you? So sorry. You're doing very well. Don't be nervous. Try to speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. I really don't like spiders. Door. Um. Actually, the clown is worse than that zombie. I can run from the zombie. Uh, I don't really 
really fair dog, so we're going to go still. I have no problems with storms. We'll stay with the gore. This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligently. <laughs> Spiders, clowns, an awful. Some combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> uh, well, I'm afraid once again we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. Next chapter, huh? Weird psychiatrist, that's all I have to say. Very weird. Chapter 2, Jealousy. Nine hours until dawn. Man, I feel like this mountain gets bigger every time I climb it. Oh yeah? It feels the same to me. There's Josh. Okay. And we're gonna leave it right here with Josh. We'll pick this up on the next episode. Uh, we'll see how this goes. I, the psychiatrist is the most creepy thing out of everything so far, but I'm sure it's gonna get a little worse as we go along. So like always, give me that like if you enjoyed this video. Give me a subscribe if you're new to the channel. And we will see you on the next one.